your girl unapologetically crazy. You're not so normal's 90s baby, baby. We've been kicking it on the old school train lately, and we just gonna keep it going, okay? We're gonna keep it moving. So we have another all deaf poetry jam. Okay, we got another poet tree space uh situation, and we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. This one is Chanel Gabrielle. Uh why I love you. This sounds familiar. I think I actually seen it before. We going to give it a look. We going to give it a listen and we going to figure this thing out. <laughs> Man, somebody bring that poetry back. <laughs> That's all I want to know. With most them posting. Somebody bring that poetry back. My home is entitled. Cuz if Death Comedy Jam can have a reunion, Death Poetry Jam need to have one too. They say the human body. She's gorgeous. Has over 50 billion white blood cells. Oh, I do remember this. Make me, Make me sick. sick. They say the human run over five meters long. You're so full of shit. <laughs> you all think this shit I would throw back, but for some reason it's opposites we attract. We show our admiration and love taps. I hate you matches and sarcastic wisecracks. All the qualities of my soulmate. You lack. Ah! Yo. Your attempts at being romantic are simply pathetic. Yo. No, have you ever had somebody in your life that you simply hated but you love? Like, they're completely opposites of you. And sometimes you ask yourself repeatedly, why am I here and why do I love you? But yet they constantly make you smile, irritate you with everlasting soul, treat you like, you know, treat you right in some aspects, but like everything that you ever wanted in a guy, they don't have. <laughs> you just be like, why am I so attracted to you? Why am I here? Why do we work, but we don't work at the same time? Like, that is so annoying. And this is exactly what she's describing. Like, they get on your everlasting good nerve. But yet they're here. Yeah, you required a paramedic the first time. You cooked me dinner. I had to pump my stomach. And you just like to pick fights if I say go. Damn. You go right not fuck the stomach. You swear it's night. You still think our anniversary is the 10th of May. It's the 9th. It's the 9th. Of March. Okay, I do remember this. Damn. Wait. She said it's the 9th of March, not the 10th of May. You gave me a Twinkie with one candle. You wear socks with your sandals. Katie. And no, not the short ones. Yo. Your ankles. You're a diehard Nas fan. I love Jay-Z like black folk and lactose products. We just always seem to disagree. You think Angelina Jolie is the official beauty? I think she's overrated and her lips are crusty. You like chicks, you like chicks that are busted. Yeah. You're a member of the Itty Bitty City Committee. Come on for the itty bitty city committee, but you got more titties than I do, so I guess I'm the president. Yeah. I wonder if she's still like with this person because it's so opposite. Mm. Like air through my lungs, and there are over a trillion nerves in the central nervous system. You get on every single one. <laughs> <laughs> you know <you're> <laughs> that was smooth. That was smooth. Oh, that was real smooth. I like that. Oh my god, that was a good representation of like opposites attracts and like how people compliment one another. One uh, one. E I can't talk. How people complicate? Damn, complicate. How people <laughs> compliment one another in relationships, it is so weird because it doesn't always seem like a match made in heaven. It doesn't always seem like a, like a super romantic relationship that you want. Sometimes you just get what you need. All right, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. Tell me how you like the poem. If you like my reaction to the poem, blah, blah, blah. See you later, Misfits.